In this third and final tutorial about orthographic drawing, we're going to create an orthographic drawing for the deck. To do this, go to the application button, click open, and locate the orthographic drawing template. What we're going to do is first of all create a base view from the ribbon, and in this instance we're going to scroll down the orientations to the bottom view, which seems the most appropriate for the first base view. Click into the orthographic drawing once with the left mouse button. Click to the right and click above one more time with the left mouse button. What we're also going to do is create an isometric drawing. This time we're going to drag up to the top left to create a, an interesting view. Click again, right click and choose to create these views. We're going to move the isometric drawing to the bottom left this time. And we're going to reorganize the page with some decent spacing for some additional views. What we're now going to do is create a sectional view. So from the ribbon, select section, select the base view, scroll in, and this time create a sectional line which runs parallel as best as possible without snapping to the feature to avoid that. Slightly accentuate click a second time, right click and choose to continue. What we're now going to do is just drag to the side and create a sectional view with a click. In this instance the sectional view is facing the wrong direction. So what we're going to do is right click on the line work and reverse the direction to change that view. So now we have a sectional view showing how the front feature will work. What we're now going to do is label each of the drawings. So to remind you of the previous tutorials, double click on the view, choose the toggle label visibility and enter in the name in the view identifier box. Click on the pencil and remove the scale. You can now do this for each of those drawings, moving the label below the drawing. So as you can see, I've now added labels to the plan, elevation, end elevation section view, and also to the isometric view. And the isometric view, I've turned a shaded view on. What I've also done is change the scale of that view from one to four to one to three. What we're now going to do is create a couple of new features. At the back of the main base scooter, we're going to create a breakout view, which will show a cut through of one feature. And we're also going to add an auxiliary view to this elevation here. First of all, we'll start with the auxiliary view. So choose from the ribbon auxiliary, select the base view. And in this instance, we're going to choose this front angled edge, click once, drag up and we're going to create a suitable auxiliary view. Again remember to move the information around until you're happy with the layout of the page. Try where possible to avoid congestion. What we're now going to do at the rear of the base view is create a breakout view. To do this, first of all, we're going to create a sketch. And that sketch will effectively create a perimeter within which we're going to create that view. To do this, click on the base view and choose to create a 2D sketch from the ribbon. Use the circle tool and draw a circle at the back of the scooter covering the entire back end of the scooter finish the sketch and now choose the breakout option from the ribbon. Select the base view. The profile has been selected for us because there are no other sketches on this drawing. So now what we need to do is simply choose the depth to which we want the preview, the cut through to show. To achieve this we have a drop down of options. What I'm going to do here is choose the selector tool 
and using the front point option I'm going to click and choose from the isometric view the central point of the arc at the back of the scooter. If I click once with the left mouse button and click OK we can now see a cut through which shows the rear section of the scooter and the profile at the middle point of this arc. We could choose the front corners or the back corners or any physical feature on any view on this page. We're going to add some overriding dimensions. So under the annotate tab, choose the dimension tool. And we're going to first of all choose this dimension. For the length of the scooter, we're going to choose the chain dimension, in which we're going to click once, twice, three times, right click and choose to continue. And we can now add the dimensions broken down for the entire length of the scooter. And now if we resize our view, we can now see that we've created an isometric drawing for the scooter, featuring all the parts, including a sectional view, a rendered isometric view, a breakout view, and the appropriate labeling of each part. To finish off this drawing, we're going to add two features. We're going to add a parts list, and we're going to add balloons to identify each part. To do this, use the top ribbon and go to parts list under the table option. Click on parts list and from select view we're going to select the base view with a left click. All things being the same if we now click OK what we have is a table which we can place onto the drawing and what we can do here if we right click is to edit the parts list. In description we can give material or perhaps a finish. Click OK and we can snap this table to the edge of our drawing. Last we will add the balloons so again along the ribbon the balloon option click on the balloon option and this time working off the base view click each individual part in turn so we'll first of all start with the deck click once click a second time to create a point and double click to create that balloon this balloon with the number one will now reference to the deck in the table if we now click to another part click once twice, double click to create and we now have the second part which is the bearing seat. If we now click to the third part once, twice and double click we've now created the third balloon which is for the top cap. And What we've now done is we've added in the final parts list and the balloons referencing to each individual part of this assembly. This orthographic drawing is now done, there are lots more dimensions and information that we can add, which you might want to explore.